Joe Amoyat, founder and creator of GPSForLove.com. Have you ever been in a relationship with a guy where you knew there was something going on, you knew there was something that he was struggling with, but you just couldn't get him to open up? Or did you ever wish you had like a guide, a special report that gave you some insight into the male mind, into the male species? Well, if so, I want you to pay close attention because today I'm going to give you a little bit of an insight into why guys have such a hard time expressing their feelings. Now, one of the things I want you to understand is it's usually not that guys have a hard time expressing their feelings, is that they have a hard time expressing certain feelings. So recently I was having a conversation with one of the members of our GPS for Love community who was saying she had a conversation with a guy and he's like, you know, I just don't do the feelings thing. You know, I'm a guy. I just, you know, that's just the way I am. And so I said, well, let me ask you a question. Does this guy who doesn't do the feelings thing, does he ever get frustrated? Does he ever get pissed off? Does he ever get upset? Does he ever get critical? And she's like, yeah, all the time. And I'm like, well, those things, those are feelings. Okay, frustration, anger, upset, all those things are feelings. The difference thing is those feelings are easy for men to express, and there's a reason why. I recently read a report and it's called The Silence of Man. And it, it was such a great report because it gives such a great insight into the male mind, into why guys are the way they are, why they have such a hard time expressing their feelings. Now I can say, I've been a member of the male species for a couple of years now. You know, more than a couple if we have to be honest. And there's a certain way that men are brought up in our culture, in our society, in most families, in most religions, and in most cultures. And so a lot of guys are brought up to believe that, you know what, you've got to be a man, okay? You've got to be strong, you know? Don't express your feelings, don't cry because, you know, girls cry, that you're a sissy, that if you, ex if you express those feelings, well, you're a wimp, and, and people are going to take advantage of you, and, and people are going to hurt you. That you've got to be this str big, strong, touch, tough, macho guy. And if you're not anything but that big, strong, tough, tough macho guy there's something wrong with you now you have to realize if you're brought up that way from day one you're gonna believe that if you're brought up that you know it's not cool to express your feelings to express your emotions then you're gonna have a hard time expressing what's called the feminine side of your personality you see every human being has two sides of their personality it's a masculine side and a feminine side so men have a masculine and feminine side just as women have a feminine and a masculine side. Now based on your gender, you're going to operate predominantly from your gender specific personality. So for men, you're going to operate primarily from the masculine side of your personality and for women, you're going to operate primarily from the feminine side. Now for a healthy male, you're going to operate predominantly from that male side, but you're also going to be in touch with that feminine side. You're going to be able to express your feelings. You're going to be able to talk openly and honestly. You're going to be able to be vulnerable. And for women, it's the opposite. You're going to be in touch with your feminine side, but you also need to be in touch with that masculine side. You need to be strong. You need to be aggressive when, when appropriate. You need to have firm boundaries, and you need to be able to call people on their stuff when they're doing stuff to hurt you. So we all have these sides of our personality. But based on who we are and how we're brought up and in our culture, our society, those softer sides are not encouraged and we're made to believe that we're wrong. So what happens is we tend to suppress those sides and not get in touch with them. And that that's, tends to be a huge problem for men and for women. So guys grow up with the feeling that, or the belief that, you know what, I'm not supposed to express those feelings because if I do, I'm a wimp. I'm not a man. I'm not strong. I'm not tough. I'm going to get hurt. People are going to take advantage of me, blah, 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 blah. All those things are unconscious beliefs. And it's something that I understand. Now, I was very fortunate, I was very blessed. I learned early in life that it's okay for a man to express his feelings and express his emotions. When, when I was a little boy, I was about five years old, my dad had a heart attack and he, he almost died from it. So I didn't really understand what was going on at that age, but I went to visit him in the hospital. And I remember it as if it was yesterday and I walked into the hospital, into the hospital and he was standing in the hallway by the nursing station and the minute he saw me, he, he literally broke down and, and cried and he grabbed me and he just gave me this huge, huge hug. And in that moment, I learned that, you know what, it's okay for a man to cry. Now, I got to tell you, my dad 
That was the first time I ever saw him cry. He was a big, strong, tough Italian guy who, you know, had all the machismo that most Italian men think they're supposed to have. And at that point, it was like, whoa. And I was like, well, what's going on? But what it really taught me is that it's okay to express your feelings. It's okay to cry. And that men cry. My dad was didn't lose his manhood in my eyes. He didn't become less of a man. He was still my dad. He was still my role model. He was still my hero. But I just saw him in a different light. I saw him as being human. And it's one of the most valuable lessons I learned in my life because I learned that it's okay to express your feelings, now this is the key, in a safe environment. So I put the link to that report below because if you're a woman, I want you to read this report. I think every woman should read this report because it really gives you some great insight not only into why men have such a hard time expressing their feelings, because we just touched the surface of it here, but also what you can do. Because here's the truth, and most men aren't going to say this, so I'll say it for them, is that we want to be able to express our feelings. We want to be able to express our truth. But in order for us to do that, we need to be comfortable, we need to be safe. You know, Every human being wants to be vulnerable to the right person for the right reason. So, if you can show a man that you've got his back, that you're not going to think less of him, and that it's actually okay, and you create the space for him to open up, the right man will step up and do that. Now, if a guy does that, you're going to be able to create a deeper bond, a deeper connection. He's going to love you, and he's going to want you in his life even more. And if he doesn't, then you have to realize that that guy's not emotionally available. He's not healthy. And being in a relationship with him is going to be very difficult because you don't have a partner who's willing to be vulnerable, to open up, to communicate with you, and to express his true thoughts and feelings in a way that you can grow together as individuals and as a couple. So I put that link below, and I highly suggest that you go read it. And if you have anybody that you know that's a woman who's in a relationship with a guy or who's contemplating a relationship with a guy, I strongly suggest that you forward this to them and you help them because I know... You know, you see, you know, you guys are this, and you guys are something I hear all the time. And, you know, I'm the first to admit there are a lot of assholes out there. Okay? But there are a lot of great guys who never had the love, the support that they were looking for in life. And as a result, they suppressed that part of their personality, and they just made it more difficult on themselves to open up and to express their true thoughts and feelings. So you can help us, guys. You know, I've got a wonderful woman in my life, my wife Natalie, who has allowed me to do that. You know, yes, I've learned from my dad that it's okay for a man to express his feelings, but my wife created an even deeper space for me to open up, to express my feelings, to make me feel comfortable to do so as a man, and as a result, I've grown a lot as an individual as well. So I'm sharing this with you because there's a man out there who will do the same for you if you show up in the same way, in the same space for him. So the link is down below. Go click on it now. And again, forward this to your friends and family members. Now, if you like this video, hit the like button below. Make sure you subscribe to our channel and tell all your friends and loved ones about GPS for Love. I created this channel for you to help make your journey to finding the love that you desire and deserve a little easier and a little bit more enjoyable. And hopefully this video and every other video will do the same. As always, honor privilege to be with you. I'll see you next time. Much love. It's a mystery.